All right, day quattro of um, our cook along. Chicken legs that we've saved from early on are in. A little bit of olive oil or rapeseed oil we use, salt and pepper. We're gonna roast them for about 44, 45 minutes. They're gonna come out. We're gonna shred all the meat off for our rice bowl, all right? Uh, today, lunch, chicken and rice bowl uh, with soy. And then we've got a feta spaghetti with roasted tomatoes, all right? Ingredients for the rice bowl are about here. I'm gonna crack on. All right, so uh, chicken and rice bowl. Uh, we've got lots of leftovers. Last time we cooked a whole kilo of rice. That's gonna go towards our lunch now. We've got cauliflower florets that we had left over from our curry. That's going in. We've got some onions. We've got some carrots. We're gonna dice them. They're going in. Butternut squash, get that grated. That's going in. We've got our chicken legs, all right? We're gonna get them shredded, all right? Let them cool down. Pull as much meat off as you can. And then that is gonna go in our rice bowl as well. And then lunchtime is easy peasy. Here we go. Don't forget. Chopping board down, cloth underneath. That's going to make it stable for us, all right? Now, leftover rice. You can heat this, but for this sort of style uh, rice dish, it's basically a composite of all raw stuff along with some cold rice left over, all right? No worries about eating it cold. If you want it hot, by all means, pop it in the microwave just to make sure it's piping, all right? Cauliflower. Got our florets. Just gonna finely shred them. All right. Onions. Finely slice them. Now the great thing about this, if the kids don't want raw onion, kids don't want butternut squash, it doesn't have to go in, all right? The world's your oyster, chuck in. If you've got stuff left over in your fridge that you wanna get rid of, chuck it on. All right. Great our butternut squash. And great the carrot. So the great thing about this dish is it's all leftover stuff. All bits that we've salvaged from all the other meals and that's how we're gonna sort of pull back some of the price point. Don't forget, we're working with 62p per head per meal which gives us really tight margins, all right? So all these little bits that we've saved as we go along, now it's gonna make an amazing salad. Winner. And then we just put it all together. So we've got our rice. Fill up with some grated carrot. Some raw onion. Some cauliflower. Some grated butternut squash. And that amazing pulled chicken. I'm gonna have a bit more onion on it because I'm a fiend for it. And then we got ourselves a light soy sauce. Boom, there we go. That's gonna be our seasoning. So if you'd like extra salt in that, do. Do it afterwards, all right? Because we're gonna absolutely drown it in the light soy. All right? Like I say, completely customizable, all right? put in whatever you need to. If you've got stuff in your fridge, chuck it on. If you don't want certain stuff, leave it off. But there you go, easy leftover salad, done in five. And we're gonna go in. Mm. That's decent, decent size meal, decent portion. Right, don't forget, we're moving on next. Baked feta, spaghetti and roasted tomatoes. See you in a bit. All right, guys, day four, dinner time. Uh, roasted feta with spaghetti and roasted tomatoes. We're gonna chuck some mint, some lemon in there as well. I think we've got a bit of cheese left, so we might chuck a bit of that cheddar on there as well, all right? Um, here we go. Recipe cards about here. Let's get going. Right, only equipment we need. A roasting tin, our chopping board, and our knife, all right? Don't forget, tea towel underneath, steady your chopping board. Taking a block of feta, I've just cut it up into eight. 
down the middle, four ways across, all right? With that, we're gonna add five tomatoes that we had left from a previous recipe, all right? So I've cut them all into sections, about six in each. And as so, don't forget, careful with your hands. Remember, I didn't listen to my own advice. All right. On to that. I'm going to just sprinkle some of the fresh mint we had left. So about a handful shredded and sprinkled on. All right. A little bit of salt over the tomatoes. Do not add too much, though. Got feta. Very, very salty as it is. Good old twist of the black pepper. Drizzle of oil. And into that, we're gonna grate a load of lemon zest, all right? We should have some lemons left over again from previous uh, recipes. So just a good whack of zest over the top, all right? This is a micro plane, which is like a really fine grater. If you haven't got one, just a small side on your grater at home will be fine, all right? This is gonna add a really nice zing to our pasta. All right, and then like before, I've already cooked my pasta. So, boiling salted water, salty as the sea, like we talked about before. Don't forget, if this gets a bit of traction, uh, getting lots of likes, lots of subscribes, we'll do some basic recipe things like rice and pasta as we go along, all right? Uh, so it's pre-cooked, ready to roll. That is that. It's really fresh, really tasty smelling, delicious. That is gonna go into the oven for about 12 minutes. Now this dish was probably the one we had the most trouble trying to get everything we needed to. I sometimes do this with cotta. It's really, really creamy, really, really nice. However, we're going with feta, and I think it's still gonna work out. Twelve minutes. Let's go. A few minutes later. All right, twelve minutes is up. Our feta's coming out of the oven. Let's go check it out. Delish. My God, that smells so good. Tomatoes, mint, the cheese, the lemon. Look at that. All right, simple for us now. We're gonna get that scraped out into the bowl and we're gonna get our pasta mixed through it. All right, it's all right for this to be a bit mushy. We kind of want to break it up a little bit. And that way, all that sauce all that cheese, all the tomato juice is going to coat our pasta lovely. Now, once again, this is one of my children's favourites. So, Maggie and Peggy, I'm going to enjoy this just for you. All right. Pasta into it. And then just mix it well through. All that cheese, all that tomato juice is going to coat the pasta and it's going to taste incredible. All right, let's get it boiled up. No fancy spooning for me, straight in. Again, look how easy, simple that was. Roasted tomato, feta, mint, and lemon. Base is all covered. Big portions. It's a win for the dads. If it ain't messy, you ain't doing it right. Mm. That was really, really good. The feta, nice and salty, just covers it all. Delicious. All right, we've got one day left to do. Join us tomorrow, 8 p.m. We're going to cook along live. Hopefully, we're going to have ourselves a special guest. Before then, what we need to do is get our chicken carcass boiled up, all right? So we're going to get that into a pan, cover it with water, and boil it down for about 90 minutes, all right? Any foam comes to the top, just skim it off and chuck it away. Let that reduce down by 50%. Going to take it out, cool the chicken, pick it all, we're going to have a stock ready. We're going to have picked chicken ready, all right? Make sure you shred all the meat off the carcass. 
See you then. Enjoy. Enjoy.